In the past, when one thought of China, images of clothing, home appliances, and furniture would likely come to mind, as these comprise the three major sectors contributing to China's exports. However, these traditional sectors, known as the Old Three, have taken a back seat in China's current economic landscape. Today, China has shifted its focus to what is known as the New Three, solar cells, lithium-ion batteries, and electric vehicles. China now dominates the global market, accounting for over 80% of solar cell exports, more than 50% of lithium-ion batteries, and over 20% of electric vehicles. The success of this new trio can be attributed to consistent government support, an early market entry, robust and cost-effective domestic supply chains, and a vast domestic market that facilitates economies of scale. Between January and March, the combined exports of electric vehicles, lithium-ion batteries and solar cells totaled 264 billion yuan, marking a significant 66.9% year-on-year increase. This surge played a pivotal role in elevating China's overall export growth rate by two percentage points. Notably, electric vehicles led the growth with a remarkable one 22.3% year-on-year increase, followed by lithium-ion batteries at 94.3% and solar cells at 23.6%. The reasons behind China's leadership in these three emerging sectors are explored in detail in this video. Before we delve into the discussion, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Now let's explore how China has emerged as the powerhouse in the manufacturing industries of solar cells, lithium batteries, and electric vehicles. The origins of the surge, the rise of the triumvirate solar cells, lithium batteries, and electric vehicles marks a pivotal step toward decarbonization, a journey that began long ago. Beijing's unwavering policy support dates back to the mid-2000s, providing a consistent foundation for the present success. In 2005, China initiated a renewable energy law, signaling a commitment to exploring and utilizing renewable energy sources. Two years later, the central government elevated the energy industry to a national strategy through two key policies, the National Climate Change Program and the Mid- to Long-Term Development Plan for Renewable Energy. These policies extended the industry's purpose beyond addressing pollution concerns. The year 2008 witnessed a significant boost when the government allocated a substantial portion of its 4 trillion yuan stimulus plan, approximately 5%, to energy saving, emissions reduction, and ecological engineering projects amid the global financial crisis. This allocation, totaling 210 billion yuan, or about $583 billion, steered companies and investors towards renewable ventures. Consequently, large-scale projects for new energy generation, particularly in wind and solar power equipment manufacturing, gained unprecedented momentum. Additionally, Shenzhen saw the initiation of ventures like the construction of commercial charging stations within the new energy vehicle industry. By 2012, China had already established a robust manufacturing chain for the solar photovoltaics industry, contributing to over 40% of the world's solar cell production. The momentum continued in 2015 with the introduction of the Made in China 2025 Inches Strategy. This initiative aimed to transition China's manufacturing industry from labor-intensive to technology-intensive within a decade. With specific objectives for the growth of domestic electric vehicle brands, it prompted a dedicated action plan to expand the manufacturing of power generation equipment for solar, wind, and other renewable energy sources supply chains, and domestic market dynamics. 
China's early initiation and steadfast policy implementation in establishing robust domestic supply chains have become the nation's primary competitive advantage in these sectors. As the renowned factory of the world, China has honed its manufacturing capabilities and cultivated a comprehensive supply chain ecosystem. Notably, the solar sector in China boasts an integrated industry chain, enabling the production of solar panels from raw materials to the final components without relying on imports or foreign expertise. During the initial stages of manufacturing development, China's low labor costs served as an additional advantage. The sheer size of China's domestic market, unparalleled on a global scale, has significantly propelled its companies forward. The substantial market size, coupled with generous policy incentives, allows China not only to manufacture a considerable quantity of renewable energy devices, but also to consume a substantial portion of them domestically. The economies of scale derived from China's vast domestic market were further amplified by policies that either encouraged or, in some cases, mandated the use of domestically produced goods. For instance, the 12th five-year plan from 2011 to 2015 for the solar photovoltaic industry mandated that 80% of the equipment and accessories used in manufacturing solar cells be localized. The Made in China 2025 Inches initiative sets ambitious targets, specifying that over 70% of the 1 million plus electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids sold annually in China should be from domestic brands by 2020. Looking ahead to 2025, the goal is even more ambitious, aiming for more than 80% of the market share, equivalent to 3 million units. Government subsidies and industry rise in China. The ascent of China in the three key sectors owes a significant debt to government subsidies provided to manufacturers, power generators, and consumers. While China's competitors either lacked such subsidies or discontinued them long ago, the Chinese government actively supported these industries. In the late 2010 S, approximately 60% of global solar panel production was based in the European Union. European countries, particularly Germany and Spain, had been robustly subsidizing the use of solar energy by individuals to stimulate production. However, due to the financial crisis, European nations withdrew their solar energy subsidies. During this period, China intensified its focus on solar energy. The Golden Sun Initiative, launched in 2009, marked one of China's initial efforts to propel the industry forward. It provided subsidies for installing solar photovoltaic systems on buildings, setting technical standards, and promoting key technologies. Subsequently, China extended subsidies to solar power generators from 2013 to 2019 by offering additional compensation when they sold electricity to the grid. Various levels of regional governments also granted subsidies to foster the development of large solar facilities or the installation of rooftop solar panels, aligning with renewable installation targets. In the realm of the new energy vehicle industry, intricately linked with the battery sector, subsidies played a pivotal role. One of the earliest policies, outlined in 2009, saw the central government committing to invest 10 billion yuan over the subsequent three years. This financial support facilitated various technical and product upgrades for car companies, encouraging the development of new energy vehicles and their accessories. Will China maintain its lead? Experts widely anticipate that China will continue to hold a competitive edge in the new three sectors for the foreseeable future. However, the landscape is shadowed by uncertainties arising from geopolitical relations. In the short term, Western companies face formidable challenges in surpassing their Chinese counterparts. 
the absence of comparable favorable conditions, ranging from consistent policy support to lower production costs, makes it highly challenging for Western entities. Given China's existing infrastructure, encompassing raw materials and manufacturing capabilities, the nation is poised to sustain its dominance in the solar, lithium, and electric vehicle sectors. Moreover, China boasts the largest domestic market among all contenders. Yet there exists a realm where Western nations could potentially vie for supremacy research and development. The United States and Europe have demonstrated strength in this domain. However, U.S. companies and researchers encounter a significant obstacle in the form of financial constraints, a consequence of years marked by inconsistent policy signals. The prospects for China in these sectors have morphed into more of a political concern than an economic one, particularly in the United States and Europe. Trade restrictions, such as the U.S. ban on Chinese solar panels and the EU's ongoing anti-dumping investigation against Chinese electric vehicles, add an additional layer of complexity to the evolving landscape. What are your predictions for China's continued dominance in the solar, lithium battery, and electric vehicle industries? Feel free to express your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button to show your support. Ensure you stay updated on compelling videos covering events in Asia by subscribing to our channel.